an eight-year-old Canton girl hurt by a falling table at school. We want to make sure that, you know, no, no parents have to feel like we fell. Tonight, a mother wants to know why the little ones were left to push the heavy wall-mounted tables up by themselves. Topping our news tonight at 11, you know, it was just uh, last year, a three-year-old girl was crushed to death by a falling wall-mounted table. That was at a Dearborn Heights school. Right, and that table had a defective latch, but the eight-year-old girl who was hurt in Canton was hit by a table that hadn't been latched at all. Mar McDonald is live in Canton tonight, and, and Mar, the little girl, is she okay? Her, she's going to be okay, Kimberly. Little Jessica, you know, told me that she still loves school. She's excited for Santa Claus. And why don't we have her tell you how she's doing? Now it's per, it's fine. My back has gotten a lot better and my foot isn't hurting at all. But the massive bruise on Jessica's cheek gives you a pretty good idea how hard she hit that gym floor. Jessica was helping clean up after lunch at Field Elementary, and the janitor told the kids to push up the wall-mounted tables, and according to Jessica and her parents, then left the room. Jessica did as she was told. The whole thing came down on her, and we're not exactly sure, like, where it hit. We know that, you know, her face was bruised, her back was bruised and then her foot was trapped under it. Janet got the call that she was hurt by a falling table and called her husband Dennis and both immediately thought of the same thing. He said, all I can think is that little girl who died. Meaning three-year-old Liliana, who was crushed to death just last year by a falling table in Dearborn Heights with a defective latch. The table that fell on Jessica wasn't latched. There was no way the four-foot-tall eight-year-old could possibly reach that high. I don't understand why they would have kids push tables into the wells. I really don't. The school administration has assured the family the children will never be put in that position ever again. Janet and Dennis are so grateful their daughter is going to be okay. We just got lucky, and the school got lucky. Back here live, we reached out to Plymouth Canton Schools, and the official comment we're getting from them tonight is essentially a no comment, but with this caveat. They say that, yes, there is an investigation underway into exactly what happened here, but as far as personnel and things of that nature, they have no comment. We're live in Canton. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.